This story is titled, Am I the Askonaut for Not Wanting to Date ChatGPT? Is this our future? We're going to be dating robots? So a month ago, my online friend of two years, Mail39, reached out with very elaborate messages suggesting why we should start up a long-distance relationship romantically. I, female 47, was very flattered and have always enjoyed his friendship, which was casual. We were not besties and did not talk every day up until this point, but I had always appreciated his personality and patience with others. I agreed that we should explore it. I felt his eloquent messages were definitely fun to get, as it felt like he put a lot of time and effort into them. Well, fast forward a month of rose-colored glasses, long-distance relationship fun. Through this time of all the big conversations and even many, many little small message responses just started to have that over-the-top feeling, which did not align to how he spoke over voice slash video. It was cute at first, then just felt off. At one point a few weeks in, I even jokingly mentioned it sounded like he used ChatGPT to write to me. I honestly don't even recall his response because I said it in passing as a joke. Well, a few nights ago, we had a video chat encounter that hit me rather negatively, triggering a past trauma response and I told him I needed some time to process. It was his long-winded, textbook perfect response that finally pushed me to it. I took the message I sent him, copy and pasted it into ChatGPT, and asked for it to form a response. You guessed it, almost word for word. I was going to say, you know, there's just a chance that he's a really good writer and not so good at the words coming from his face. But no, clearly that, that wasn't the case here. So during the next day or so, I started going through our chats and taking any messages that I thought was a bit much and pasting it in there. The similarity of each of them is so spot on that I now feel as though I have just been dating ChatGPT for a month. Everything feels different, and everything feels fake now. After a few days of giving me space, I got a long-winded ChatGPT-generated message from him this morning. I admit it, I put into ChatGPT and generated a response to him. Oh, yeah. Here, I'm going to go ahead and give you this for that. There we go. You get the petty confetti for that. That is wonderful. I love it. His chat GPT generated response came back in record time and I have since left him on red while I ask the world, am I the astronaut for not wanting to date chat GPT? P.S. I giggled when I checked the I'm not a robot box when submitting this and now feel like we need that, feel like I need to add this onto dating applications moving forward. OK, there's an update, but let's uh, let's let's talk. Let's talk about this a little bit. I was really hoping once we got started in this, I was like, you know, a lot of people are really solid writers, but but don't do well actually speaking to people. That could be the case here. There are some like, writers, authors. You're going to have a lot of people who are very eloquent when they're able to think through what they're actually writing and process it, but whenever they have to put the words from here to here and they come out of here and, and hit other people's ears, it's just, it's just no bueno. Uh, but no, that wasn't the case. You had a hunch. You followed through on it. That sucks. All right, let's get into the update here. Update, I talked to him about the AI-generated messages, and I let him know that they were over the top. I asked why he chose to use ChatGPT to message me. He states he uses it sometimes because he hadn't had practice talking to someone he really likes, and he didn't want to mess it up by being boring. <laughs> whatever you do, don't be yourself. That's what he was thinking in his head, right? He's like, whatever you do, don't screw it up by being yourself, dude. Just don't, don't do the one thing that everybody says to do. Just be yourself. Don't, no, don't be me. He stated those were in fact his thoughts and how he felt. I can understand this to a point. However, it was for over 75% of all messages over one sentence. For conversations that did not need it, like responding to me saying I was going to clean out my freezer or couldn't find my camera or had a good therapy session, simple mundane things. I was getting really elaborate responses. I find it fascinating because we had so many conversations about being yourself and, uh, and how important it was to be yourself from the beginning rather than pretending to be something else. Ah, them damn hypocritical robots. I have ended things with him, but it was far more than the chat GPT messages. During the end conversation, it was clear I made the right call when he deflected everything back to me, claimed he was used and a victim. I wonder if that was Chad GPT claiming to be a victim. That's that's where Skynet comes in, right? He then began writing in choppy English sentences. He speaks perfect English. He's lived here since he was a small child. He admitted to me a while back he pretends he has a strong accent or doesn't speak English at all to his customers when they are being rude or angry. I was not rude or angry. I kept the end conversation pretty straightforward and respectful. He did not. 
Pretty sure he has larger issues than chronically using chat GPT. This was just a visible red flag. The rest he was still hiding well. I consider this a dodged bullet. Agreed, except you didn't dodge the the amount of time that you invested with him. Yes, you dodged the bullet by by making that call and by getting yourself out of this situation. But now you have to look back at that time. I mean, you learned a valuable lesson. You did learn a valuable lesson. But all, all of the hypocritical bullshit about being yourself when clearly he made a decision early on to very not be himself is laughable. It is hilarious. And this would actually make a really good movie. Right. Where somebody uses like chat GPT to essentially figure out how to talk. And then it comes time whenever they have to meet them and it all just falls apart. And they're like, I don't get it. This would make a really good movie. 